Standard clear. <laughs> Go. All right, Jordan, you're obviously uh, stepping in for some big shoes there at the weak side line. Right. Just talk about that. Um, yeah, you said it, you said it correctly. Uh, big shoes to fill. Sean's an incredible talent, and um, that's the hardest part is trying to you know, fill his his shoes. But you know, I'm gonna try. He's been coaching me up real good, and I'm um, getting me prepared for this game. Is he giving you any advice? Any any things? Um, read your key, align correctly, and um, just get after it. He told me to play my ball. Um, don't press and let the game come to you. Jordan, how hard is it gonna be? That I mean, all you guys sort of take your cues from him in practice anyway. The fact that he's not going to be there. Mm-hmm. When I forget on the field, he's not going to be around you guys Monday mm-hmm. night. How, how hard is that part going to be for you guys? Um, we just got to step up. The linebacker core, me and Jimmy have been communicating a lot better. Buck's there. You know, we've just been for, uh, forcing ourselves to communicate more and more every practice. And um, it's not, it's not going to be easy, but we've been practicing it real good, and they've been making sure that he's not there and forcing us to make the calls and make the reads. And um, it's made us a lot better, though. With how hard you've been pushing to get on the field, how much do you appreciate the opportunity? Um, you know, I feel like God does things for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. And you know, this is the opportunity to present myself, and I can go out there and show what I can do. And um, that way, hopefully, I can get some PT next week, too. Can you talk about the Maryland offense and, and sort of what you see from them and how tough they're going to be a stop? Oh, they're tough. They're, um, they have a great team. Um, they had a great quarterback in O'Brien. They had a great running back in Meggett. And um, they come out, they run hard. Um, they fly around. They're a receiver. They have a great receiving core. Guys catch the ball, go upfield. And, um, and I'm really excited about playing them because they're gonna, it's going to be a tough game. Coach Golden talked about your maturity. He said you're an excitable guy, mm-hmm. but you couldn't always like keep that throughout the game. Mm-hmm. Now you're more mature. You're mm-hmm. keeping that intensity throughout the whole game. Talk about the matur- maturation process and how you've been able to stay focused and keep that energy. Um, during the summer, you know, the coaches, my, my main focus was to, to, get, uh, to be consistent. And um, as I've been growing, I've always you know, tried to bring the energy, try to bring the juice. And um, as I've been growing, I just learned, you know, I just got to do it every day. So every day I just talk to myself, talk to myself, continue to talk to myself. I have um, a paper that I read that Coach Barrow gave me. I just read it every day before I go on the field. And as I'm like starting to feel down, I just recite it to myself. I'm um, positive emotions, positive emotions. I'm um, relaxed, relax, calm. Um, run to the ball, run to the ball. Just certain things I just repeat to myself, and that and that really helps me to just continue to be consistent and pull the guys along. Who did he give of, you this paper? Um, he's given this. This has been there since my freshman year. So this is the first year I've actually like took it and actually used it though. Those are the words on the paper that you said? Um yeah, um it's on it's like a video on YouTube of him reading it. I mean if you guys want to see it, it's the seal um MBT committed on being the best. And was there one thing that, that made you kinda really focus on the paper more this year? Or is it um, you just saw it one day and picked it up and Um I, I think just really just um becoming more devoted to my faith, my Christianity and um and just there's a lot of like Christian stuff on there, so I just felt like it was like the f- perfect wartime um, quotes on it that I needed to get me fired up, and um, it fired me up. Just one day, I just like man, I really read it to myself, and I was like, I never realized how powerful this was, and and I read it, and I loved it, and I fell in love with it like truly, and I've been using it ever since. We've heard a lot about this next guy mentality, I guess. Here, is that something you guys? I know on defense, you guys got a little bit of hit in this mm-hmm. first game. Is that something you guys have talked about? The, the guys who are starting this game? Um, yeah, I think we we've become, begin we've began to focus on it. You know, me, Jimmy, and Buck, we sat down and talked and said that you know this is our game, this is our opportunity. You know, me and Jimmy, who haven't played a lot, Buck, who has, um, and we just talked about it. this is our opportunity. This is when you know the time presents itself for us to play, and we got to help the team win. So in doing that, we just understand. Jimmy, Fudge, but it's our game. We're linebacker core. We're the quarterbacks of this defense. Let's get them together. Let's rally the troops. Let's go out there and try and get a W. Even though it's different personnel, different scheme, different coordinator, different mm-hmm. everything, this defense did things to O'Brien last year that nobody did. He had mm-hmm. happy feet all day. He was mm-hmm. 9 for 28. He, had, he did, him by far, his worst game of the season was against Miami. How mm-hmm. much do you think that's going to inspire him? On Monday, getting another oh, shot. Oh, he's, he's gonna come out here and try to and try to like try to kick our behinds. That's what he's gonna try and do. He's gonna he's gonna throw the ball. He's gonna make sure his O line's uh, blocking for him. He's gonna be fired up. He's gonna be ready to go. He's gonna be. He has a chip on his shoulder now, and um, he's gonna be ready to get that monkey off his off his back from last year. So um, you know, he was a freshman last year. He's a sophomore this year. So he's ready, and I know he's like ready to get after us. So we just got to come and bring the juice, and we got to bring it harder than he does. And it's gonna be a fierce competition, like I said earlier. Jordan, a lot of freshmen are going to have mm-hmm. to play in this game. Yeah. Coach Nafi was talking yesterday about how you guys, even though maybe you haven't played a whole lot while you've been mm-hmm. here, he's going to ride the veterans to sort of provide that leadership. I mean, are you guys really ready for that? Yeah, I think that, I think he's been challenging us the whole um, the whole summer on doing that. 
and because of that, we, we're prepared. You know, I think we're the we're one of the most prepared teams in the NCAA right now, and they've done that. You know, the coaches have done a great job of teaching us how to be leaders, um, doing things like senior salutes, um, talking to the guys and coaching them up. And um, because of that, you know, we're, we're ready. We're going to push these freshmen to the best of their ability. We're going to bring it out of them. Each and every guy is going to get it brought out of them on Monday night. Are they ready? Oh, they're ready. They, we stay ready, so we never have to get ready. Jordan, in terms of getting, you talked about the maturation and the, the, the thing that the paper that Coach Barrow gave you was mm -hmm. your focus in terms of your growth and getting better. Was it more off the field than on the field? Was it more geared towards that kind of stuff, or was it a combination? Um, I think it's a combination of both. I think um, in order to be successful on the field, you know, you got to be successful off and um, doing all the right things all the time. And I think, you know, just um, putting in extra work, um, reading my playbook extra, doing off the field stuff when the coaches aren't around, when nobody's looking. I finally did that this year, and I finally really prepared myself. And um, that's allowing me to be where I am, and the coaches being able to trust me to go out on the field on Monday and not having to put anybody else in uh, and trusting that I'll get the job done. So because of that hard work on off the field and that consistency, now I'm able to uh, go out there and show what I can do. From, from a technical, from, from a linebacking mm -hmm. standpoint, where where'd you look to kind of grow your game and get better? Um, I guess alignment and assignment, um, the little things. You know, I think the big hits always come. That's easy. Right. Um, ripping off of blocks, that's easy. But um, I think when it comes to just knowing your assignment, like back and forth and knowing what the next guy's assignment is, that's what I always struggle with. And this year, this summer, I put the work in, and now I'm good. I think that'll come in, obviously it'll come in handy, but under the circumstances with <laughs> that, it's yeah. even more, that, that it's, you know, it'll benefit you even more. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I did it, because now I'm, like, I'm not like really stressed out or anything like that. I'm very confident in the game plan. I'm very confident in what I've been studying. And, um, and Sean's really helped me through this whole process. And, I, you know, I thank God for him. And um, Coach Barrow, because they've really been pushing me and calling me to the office, doing it, doing the extra stuff that we can do to get me prepared. Jordan, that, that last drive by, by Steven last year in Deep Maryland, <laughs> what, what did you see that did for him, being able to pull that off and as far as his confidence moving forward from, yeah. from that game? Um, I think that's what really that – I feel like every player has a significant moment in their career where it just takes them over the edge and really puts that staple on their career and molds them. Like Sean had the interception against FSU freshman year, and he's been Sean Spence, the Cobra. He's been that guy. You know, Steven had that pass, and this is what's molded him to continue to push us forward. And we looked to him for leadership before Jacory came back. And um, he continues to be that same leader, that same guy every day. And um, he's really committed on being the best, and he, that's what he exemplifies every day. We're going to see your moment on Monday. Huh? Are we going to see your moment? Oh, yeah, by far. By far. That's the only job we get him over, so I'm going to take full advantage of it. You had that big hit right after the after his touchdown pass on the special teams. Oh, yeah, on special teams, yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this game, man. I'm really excited. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm, this is going to be a great opportunity, you know, for every, each and every one of us on defense and to really show with Coach Golden and the work that he's put in this year. But Maryland's a tough opponent. I got to give it to him. These guys are really, like, the real deal. What statement do you feel like you guys can put out there? I mean, you're going to be on national. People mm -hmm. are going to be curious to see how you respond without the mm -hmm. missing players. What statement do you feel like you can put out there if you can go up there and win, mm -hmm. you know, in that environment? Um, that we want to be the most tenacious defense in the NCAA. We want to have 11 hats to the ball every time. And that's the statement we want to put. We want to, when they turn on the film, we want to strike fear into the hearts of every team that plays us. Even though we know that they're going to bring their A game every time, every time we play, but we just want to strike fear into every single player that turns on the film, every single coach, uh, GA, equipment staff, you name it. We want to strike fear. When you turn on the tape, we want the Miami defense to be the most feared defense in college football. You lined up behind Chicolo? Yeah. What, what's he like when you, when you see him battling up front? What do you, what do you see out of him? Um, he's like a freak. I don't know I don't know how his dad played. Nursing film on his dad. But from what I heard, I heard he's just, he's just like his dad. Tenacious, going to get after it. I mean, I've literally seen him grab guys with one arm, toss them around, throw them to the ground, and then go make the play. It just seems effortless to him, and, and it's sort of weird. I mean, honestly, for to see a freshman like that is really, is really like sort of scary. He's literally picked up guys. They literally like grab you, ragdoll you. <laughs> there you go. Now you're on the ground. He looks at you, pauses. It, it just seems like it's like like it's a movie. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember um, the guy from Remember the Titans? Yeah. What's his name? Superman? Mm -hmm. He's like that, but just worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah. How excited are you guys to go out on Monday and win that first game for Coach Golden? Oh, man, we're ecstatic, man. This guy, is, he's... He's done so much for us. I, I can't wait to just show him my gratitude and get back to him by trying to get him a W, you know, and get all the stress. I know he has a lot of stress on him and stuff like that. And we're really excited to just go out there, knock some heads around for him, and get him a W, man, because he deserves it. If nobody else deserves it, he deserves it.
about great uh, guy. Jimmy Gaines? What's he done during camp to show you he's he's ready to be the guy in the middle? Um, he's been consistent. He's consistently known his assignment. Um, consistently performed his assignment every day and every night. Beat me out for the position, so that lets you know he was doing his job all the time. This kid's a baller, and um, as long as he keeps balling, man, I mean, we love him. So that that just let me know he's ready. This kid's ready. How big was it, Jordan, to put all this stuff, you know, once you got word about the players not playing, you know, putting that stuff, getting that situated and knowing what you got and what you don't have? Um, I think it was important, you know, we already knew, we already sort of knew it was coming, so we had prepared for it. And um, now that it, and then it came so that we were already prepared, so then the coaches would, like, have that next man in mentality, we've been prepared this whole time. So no matter what, we all knew that we were going to end up playing. We just didn't know how much or what plays or how many things we are going to have. But now the opportunity presents itself, so now I'm ready, we're prepared. And it's really all on the coaches because they've done that. You know, they really prepared us, and the seniors have really stepped it up. VT, um, especially JoJo Nicholas, really stepping up and showing us how to be leaders and how to um, get in the game and execute our assignment. The guys that aren't going to be going up there, the guys that are staying back, mm -hmm. have they told you anything? or do? You Man, they just say don't press. They say ball out. Like, they're really pushing us to ball out. They've been leaders the whole time. Mm -hmm. Nothing's changed. They still go out there. They still coach us up. They still show us nothing but love. We show them say love. And um, they're really excited about seeing us play. Like, they're telling us, like, Sean was like, please don't go up there and don't have no swag and be like, because, like, we don't like to wear gloves. Me and Jimmy don't like to wear gloves during practice. He's like, wear some gloves, some tape, do something, look pretty. Please, you'll be on national TV. So um, they, they show a lot of love, man, and we're really excited about it. Speaking of uh, swag, you got any kind of hair designs? Um, I don't know if I can do it this game. It's sort of late, but I'll try and see if I can get something for you guys. Right. I'll try to get something. I don't know how Coach Golden might feel about it, you know. But um, I ask them first, and then I get permission. If I got permission to do it, I'll do it. Turtle shell, maybe. No, nah, I don't know about all that. It sounds like that's a no, hell no. Excuse my language, but no, I can't do that one. What was the name of the letter? What did you, you say you called it from Barrow? Um, committed on being the best. Committed on CLB being the TB. best. CLBTB. Committed on being the best, yeah. CLBTB. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you, sure. uh, No Thanks, problem. Sure. Thank